Hello, my name is Leila. I'm the wine director at Reed's Fine Foods and Reed's Runaway Gourmet. So our next uh, side dish is Brussels sprouts. And who doesn't like Brussels sprouts? But Reed's makes it really, really yeah. special. Uh, I don't know who came up with this recipe, but I see when we put it on the deli case, it just slides out and it's absolutely delicious. Crunchiness and the balsamic gives it that reduction sour gives sweetness it that is just amazing. The sugars, the whole caramel. So how do you prepare this dish? Just uh, so guide us through it. This is a very simple dish. I just take, we have probably two pounds, Brussels sprouts, pound and a half for this. It'll serve right around six or seven people. Right. I just take them, I cut them in half. If mm -hmm. they're not too big, I cut them in half and I clean the stems. But again, when you're cooking something, you always want it to be kind of the same size. So they cook so, at the same time, exactly. obviously. So the bigger ones, I kind of cut down into Quarters. like a quarter, just to make it the same size as those. Really it simple. Is, yeah, it is important to keep that in mind that the cooking yeah. time has to be even. Because you don't want uh, one to be all perfect. Of, all of your uh, one to be ingredients. Raw still. Right. And pretty much, it's really simple. I just have a cup, cup and a half, which once again, I'll save a little bit. For afterwards, when we roast them, we can pour a little bit on to help so glaze them. So this is a balsamic vinegar reduction, this is, this or is, have you emulsified that? Salad, salad dressing. Salad it's a honey dressing. balsamic. I like to use that because it has a little bit more sugar, a little bit more depth in it. But I mean, you can use an aged balsamic, you can use just your balsamic vinegar. But I like to go with the dressing because it has a little bit more depth and a little bit more sugar. It also has a little these, bit of olive oil in olive it. Olive oil so in it. So it's kind of coating the exactly. vegetable at the, at the same time. I still time. like to add just a little drizzle to uh -huh. help get the pan nice right. and oiled when you put them in. Just a sprinkle or two or salt. You don't have to add a lot of salt lot or of pepper. Salt. And you're going you're with black pepper this black time pepper. instead of yes. white. Okay. Because if you're using a salad dressing, if you choose to go that route, you got to keep in mind that it's already been seasoned. So then you coat them really well. Just coat them really and well. Kind of show the camera as well that and every single one of them has been coated, coated with fully. this. Uh, and it's going to look like you have a lot more dressing than you need, but we have the oven preheated to 350. And we're going to put them on a sheet tray. So once you put them in the oven, it's kind of going to keep them from dehydrating all the way. Mm -hmm. And it'll still keep them a little moist. Right. This would add some green to the table too, because exactly. we had the, the black japonica rice salad, which was unbelievable. The green bean casserole made it yep. in a little bit healthier style. Uh, of course, the turkey roasted to perfection. Exactly. And uh, I roasted vegetables, and this is something. I uh, know you can do the same recipe by frying it as well, right? Exactly. Frying the you Brussels can fry them, sprouts. And that'll give you a lot crispier of a Brussels sprout. Right. I like to add bacon to them sometimes if I fry them, give you a little bit of texture in there, and it'll give you a little bit of fat content to go with it. Uh huh. But to save time, I've already cooked these. I cook them on 350 for about right around. 20 to 25 minutes. They're going to cook pretty pretty quick if you have smaller size Brussels sprouts. If you have larger ones, you're going to have to go a little bit longer. But once I get them out of the oven, I like to just add just a touch. Not very much. I just, just a little bit of a drizzle. They kind of give it that so shine kind of, yeah. that it, you're going to want. It, exactly. Because in the oven, obviously, it's going to shrivel a they're little. It's going to shrivel a little bit. If I pour them out, you'll kind of get to see the pieces that are a little bit, the leaves will be a little bit crispy and you'll have some that'll fall off. But for the most part, they're gonna be nice and perfect, a little golden brown to them, but yet you still have that green tone that and you're gonna want And the crunchiness is still there, which yes, is what, you know, definitely. we look for, for to uh, having when we eat Brussels sprouts. It's exactly. to have that crunchiness and it still have that green taste to them. So yeah. uh, it looks delicious, and uh, so we need to try it. Yes, ma'am. We it need goes. to taste. Yes. Let's try it, Ryan. All right, bon appetit, Layla. All this work. Sweet, salty, sour. Get all your senses going. Perfect fall. The branchiness is, is there yeah. as well. Texture. So Great, great. Another Thank great you so much. Dish. It's delicious. Simple. I mean, it took you, what, 
the minutes. Oh, 10 to 15 minutes. 10 yes, to 15 minutes. Uh, you did it again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Layla.